Texas Longhorns taking on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Texas, actually, this line's moved up, I think, a full point and a half in a, since uh, Monday. Fifth, it started at 14. It's up to 15 and a half now to favor Texas. 15 and a half points that Texas is being favored in this one. 40, 54 and a half is the over-under. Oklahoma State's 9 and 3. Uh, Texas is 11 to 1. Going over some of the uh, uh, Oklahoma, the, uh, the schedules, Oklahoma State has two Tier 1 wins. So they, they have Tier 1 win over Oklahoma, and they have a Tier 1 win over Kansas State. So they started off... Two and two, kind of left for dead, you know, the tier two loss at, at Iowa State. And then they won five in a row, including two ranked wins against Kansas. And then a huge upset win, uh, start November against Oklahoma at home. And then the next week, the wheels just fell off. They lost by six touchdowns at UCF, who didn't even make a bowl game this year. And basically had to hold on the last two weeks against very easy newcomers, Houston and BYU, to hold on to their spot in the Big 12 championship game uh, to make it here. So they kind of, they started off slow. Had that five week win, five game win streak in the middle, looking really good, looking really hot, and then they kind of limped to the finish line, but still held on. They have the, like I said earlier, with Appalachian State, they are tied with the best win percentage in the last five years as an underdog. So that's the one thing that Oklahoma State has going for them in this game. Um, meanwhile, Texas, on the other hand, they they look the September and uh, you know after, even after they lost to Oklahoma, they still look pretty good going through uh, October. Uh, the, even the, then the injury with Quinn, Quinn Ewers happened, and, uh, you know, they, it looked like Texas might, you know, go go limp. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. They their might season might get blown off track because of the injury, but he came back in time. And I, I forget if he played in that Kansas State game. They had an overtime win against Kansas State. Huge, crucial, clutch win for them. Uh, that was one of their two Tier 1 wins. The other one, obviously, was, uh, <laughs> was is in Tuscaloosa to defeat Alabama. Probably... I would say the second best win of the entire year. Uh, I would only put Michigan's ahead uh, over Ohio State as a slightly better, you know, single singular win on the college football schedule. But they uh, they finish 11-1, and this might be their best team and their best chance at a championship probably since Colt McCoy is there, guys. I mean, that 2009 team was, was stacked. and that, that was, you know, they were clearly the second best team. This team... They're going to need some help, obviously. I think they're the only way they get in is if they win and Florida State loses. And, you know, because the Pac-12 will play itself out. No matter what happens in the SEC, if Alabama beats Georgia, uh, they, they have to have Florida State has to lose. And that's the only way Texas will get in. But this game, you know, in and of itself, 43-11 Texas is as a, as a favorite, even in neutral site games. They have the 10th hardest strength of schedule in the current country. Obviously, that, that game in, in Tuscaloosa was was insanely you know difficult and they came in with a 10 point victory but that big 12 slate kansas oklahoma kansas state iowa state and then finally against texas tech you know that was that was just a freaking the entire big 12 is always going to be just a murderer's row you know they're not going to be any elite elite teams top three usually but those those 10 the 15 to 30 type ranked games are just it's insane they make it only with one loss it's truly remarkable for them, and I think this is their team, you know, for going to be a long time. I don't know if Ewers is coming back. I think he is. So, overall, who do I think is going to win this game? I think Texas is going to win. I, I think it's just going to be too much for the, the Cowboys, even though they have, you know, they've been, even though they've limping into this, I think Oklahoma State still covers, though. I think they're really good against the spread this year. Texas hasn't been that good against the spread, although, again, they're 11-1. So, will this be kind of a repeat of the 2021 game, you know, where the favorites, you know, favored by a couple touchdowns and they lose. I don't think Texas is going to lose this game. I just think it's going to, it might be within 10. I just, I, it's 15 and a half. It's a lot for this game, kind of game, guys. That's why I'm picking Oklahoma State in the spread. Texas is going to win. Oklahoma State covers. Texas moves to 12 1, Big 12 champ. Would need help from Louisville to get into the CFP, but if they win, you know, it's going to put a lot of pressure because this game's at noon. The ACC and the SEC games are following after that, so we'll just have to see what happens in the succession after that, guys.